so basic parts we have done and also we have done how to connect the external javascript file to an html web page and next topic our is uh, what uh, tell uh, means uh, uh, talking about the operators so so there are uh, many operators uh, we are using javascript language so i will talk about that okay so it is time to learn about comparisons and logical operators with javascript and these operators allow us to begin to add logic to our javascript code sorry So there are also five optional quick exercises at the end of this lecture. So in this lecture, I also give you some exercise uh, regarding to that operator. So for that, I need to open the folder. So inside the folder, Django full stack, I need to open the JavaScript level one. In that, I will tell you about the operator actually. So this is the file of operator, JavaScript file, I need to open it in our browser that is atom text editor so i am opening so yeah <clears throat> Let me open our uh, complete project in Atom text editor. So that uh, uh, parallelly we can do the uh, operators in our browser. So let me open the project folder here. And we have the Django project folder, Django full stacks. Okay, here we have uh, our project.html and my script.js. Okay, so I'm not editing these files now right now in this session so i will tell you what i am doing here i will go to the javascript level one inside the javascript level one i will show you the javascript operator file so actually this is the file javascript operator file and in which there are some operators and we will practice these operator and on the basis of that i will tell you the uh, information about that okay so let me do some some uh, practice of these operators so for that i need to go to our uh, project dot html and i need to open that come path and, and i'm opening that here <clears throat> so in this actually we have uh, one complete project so let me reduce that uh, my javascript.js completely so that we are able to see the plain html page after that let me refresh it and you can see so this is plain HTML page and here only we, I can I, I will practice about that operator and I will tell you about the operator. So let me do the console application here. I am opening the console application inside the console. I will practice the different JavaScript uh, operators. Okay, then I will show you about that. So. <coughs> welcome to the part four of javascript level next level one and, and this is the operator and uh, so i can review the two boolean so that boolean already i told you so when you whenever you can type here true after that you will get the true and when you type boolean false you will get the false in answer and uh, now I'm in I, I, I will tell you about comparison operator. So comparison operator is actually the operator which compare two items and return a Boolean value. Boolean means on the basis of that uh, item, whether uh, comparison is true or false on the basis of that, you got the result as a true or false. Okay. 
<coughs> so let me do uh, this. Uh, let me three uh, is greater than two. Okay. So so you can see three is always greater than two. So I got the result true here in inside this. So this is the magic actually JavaScript is doing. You can compare any numbers, any two numbers, and you can compare any two string also. I will show you that also, and uh, you can compare that uh, if get two is greater than three or not. So you can see two is not greater than three. So you can see here the result is false. Okay, so this is the things we can use in JavaScript and less than operator. I can t talk about less than operator also. So you can see one is less than uh, two. Yes, one is less than two. So we got the result and uh, <coughs> sorry aaj mera thoda gala kharab hai so sorry for that so then uh, let me compare the uh, two is greater than two two is greater than equal to true so this is also one type of operator greater than equal to so we can check this also two is greater than equal to yes two is equal to Two. so it is true and uh, we can also check if one is less than equal to uh, three if it is true yes it is also true because one is not equal to three it is less than three so it is less than equal to operator so the, it is working like that on the basis of that you got the uh, boolean result okay so let's now discuss about equality and its tricks in javascript okay equality operator is very uh, actually important operator in javascript and many interview uh, interview are asking these questions about the equality in javascript because in all the languages one equal sign that it is working like that you are assigning some value to a variable like that okay you are storing some value in any uh, <clears throat> literals okay <clears throat> literal means any name okay and when you do equal equal in any operate uh, in, in any pro programming language like python c++ and any so it is working like you are comparing something from something okay but here in javascript uh, it is different it is equality operator it is uh, means uh, uh, is telling you about whether this thing is equal to this so okay and uh, and triple equal to operator directly when when it is triple equal to operator they they are telling you about the comparison in javascript so that is the difference and uh, i can suggest you you can go to the uh, online uh, and you can search about that okay uh, okay 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 so so then i can show you uh, by doing the things so here we can tell the uh, okay so when i am uh, doing equality of two things that is two is equal to two yes two is equal to two so when you do two equal to equal to three it is not so it is returning false so basically this is working like equality operator okay and let me tell you one more thing <coughs> we can compare uh, we can uh, we can equalize two string also okay let me show you how to compare uh, how not compare how to equal how to check two string are equal or not okay so let me do the <coughs> user name equal to equal to username okay so this thing i can do so it is returning true it is returning true and uh, uh, let's say i compare to an equal strings to an equal strings you can see the result user equal to equal to username it is what it is written it will return i think false okay so that is self defined user is not equal to username so it it is false okay so this way you can use and uh, you uh, and one more thing you can hold on here uh, let me try to clear here if it is working right now or not yeah it is working so you can uh, 
clear your browser using clear uh, command okay but in incognito type i think it is not working so aaj bahut gala kharab hai mera theek hai let me do the uh, comparison of two uh, things one is just string with the number okay so let me try let the let's say we have to 34 uh this is a string so whenever you write any number in double inverted commas in between the double inverted commas it will uh, act as a string okay so here also it is acting like a string and i am i am checking the equality of that string to the number that is 34 okay that is 34 so let me check it is returning true okay so why it is returning true because javascript has a functionality uh <coughs> javascript uh act all the uh, things uh, like number okay when it is equal equal sign when it is the equal equal sign it is uh, checking the uh, uh, it is it is uh, actually analyzing all the things as a number a string also so this 34 is act as a number and both 34 and 34 number are uh, equal actually here type define is automatically happening okay so this string is type defined into number in integer type like that okay so let me do another thing i can uh, show you the equal equal then uh, i will check the this so here i am getting the false okay so whenever you are going to uh, comparing the number to a string so it is not uh, type defined the uh, type of a uh, value so it is uh, uh, consider it like you type the value that means you, if you typed a string with the inverted commas it will consider it as a string if you type a number it will con consider it as a number so here uh, in comparison way it is look uh, like that so it is returning false because five number is not equal to the string okay so that's why it is returning false so here you can see 2 is equal to equal to 2 okay it is returning true so although this may cause error for some uh, programs it means some so, so javascript use type uh, coercial this means it will try its best to convert objects so i, I, I already told you it's convert the object type to similar data types similar data that bought similar data that to perform the comparison okay a lot of times you don't actually want that okay so many programming language we are don't want this types of things uh, we are uh, comparing two things but it is returning the two unequal things uh, uh, true so we are not expecting that but javascript is actually uh, converting the objects so this is the property of javascript so we want to way to check equality of both values and type and another set of equal signs to do this okay so they they are basically telling about uh, three times of equal sign it is doing the equality and comparison things okay so in this i already told you when you type 5 equal to equal to equal to uh, string 5 it, it will return false because it is basically perfectly checking the comparison okay okay here we are not checking the comparison so in this uh, way you in this uh, you can check the not equal to also so when you typed not equal to equal to means it is a comparison okay so when you type three times operator it is a comparison <coughs> so let me do that and it is returning true because because you know it is three times so it will not uh, change the objects so 5 is the number and this is a string so it is not equal it is not equal so that's why it is written to to okay so let me compare the six with not equal to six okay it is written true okay so let me uh, one more thing i can do i can change this into 6 okay so it is returning false because 6 is equal to 6 but it is saying 6 is not equal to 6 but it is false because 6 is equal to 
so these operators are working this like this way in javascript okay so now let's just talk about a few more situations it's common in in, in programming languages for zero or one to be substitutes for two and false so this is the way we are actually uh, different programming languages in which we are considering zero as a true zero as a false and one as a true okay but in javascript let me check what it is let's say true equal to equal to equal to one okay so it is true because we are <coughs> giving the true as a value one okay and uh, let's say true equal equal to one now we are comparing two values okay so it is returning false so in javascript uh, also, also this is like zero and one is not like true or false okay uh, only the keywords true is true and the false is false okay so this way you can also consider in false also i can um, compare false to zero and here you can see i have not tried the correct spelling so equal equal zero it is returning also false because in javascript we are not considered zero as a false but in many other programming languages we consider so so that that is weird behavior for javascript and uh, for and I, I will talk about the null value okay null and uh, any n so null is actually that is zero value means empty value okay so when you type null in javascript so in the, i will check if null is undefined or not okay so when you type null equal equal and undefined so it is true yeah so null is actually undefined value in a javascript and in many other program language also it is undefined value okay and any n so let's say any n is a what any n is a null uh, undefined or not let me check first okay any n is undefined or not so it is not undefined okay and so i think i i mean null we we don't have any value defined but in any n we can have any value defined so that's where it is working okay and one comparison i can do because like like that one any n not equal to other any n because both are different uh, not uh, assign value because both are containing the different different value these are not undefined value so they are returning false because one any n is not equal to another any n <laughs> so now we are talking about the logical operators these are very important topic logical operators in logical operators we are talking about uh, three operator that is end operator or operator or not operator okay so in end operator let me show you <coughs> when you type one equal to equal to one okay so we are comparing one to one it's true and now when you type and operator between that and then after you com comparing two 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 okay so what it is it is true because one is also this this is also true and this is also true and true and true is true because in and in case of end operator you know if uh, both the part is true you got the true if uh, one part is false we got the false okay either side so we can also check the or operator so let's say i am saying one is equal to two okay it is false and i am doing the or operator okay so one is one so it is true because in operator in or operator if one side is true 
okay so we got the true if both the true we got the true if both are false only that time of we got the false okay so it is like that so let's say i am saying one is equal to two false okay then our operator and two equal to equal to three okay it is also false so let me see it gives the false because both the values are false this is also false so this is also false then it is giving false okay basically we can try not operator also so uh, not operator is checking the opposition condition if yes we check the not operator of yes it will return the no if we check the not operator of no it will return the yes so let me check not operator of this to string munish equal to equal to not four times three times munish okay so i'm checking that two string so it is returning false because it is why it is written false because inside the bracket it is true and not of true false opposite okay and uh, we can also check opposite of opposite means two times of no not of no operator so let's say i'm checking that two times of no operator and the same string operation it will return true because one not convert that true value into false and another not it it will convert into to it true okay it's like that <coughs> so this is all about the operator in javascript okay so so i am just giving you the basic things uh, basic operator things okay i we are, i am not going going into the advanced thing now i can tell you some exercise these are some exercise but i can tell you here only here are quick five exercise for you but uh, i am not giving you to do in a homework i am showing you by doing right now here in the class only so let's say i am taking one variable x in front of you okay and also i will take another variable two okay so these two variable i take okay so in uh, no 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 in the y i am assigning the two in the x i am assigning the uh, one <clears throat> and now i am checking two string okay equal to equal to y y means two number so it is true because here in javascript is changing the object type okay making it similar type and i am using the operator here and operator okay and uh, after and operator i am comparing the x with the value 1 okay not equalizing i am comparing you can say it is returning false why it is returning false because this first part is false no no this first part is true uh, but second part second part is let's say second part is okay okay, okay. why it is returning false because we have given the x as the value one after that we have given the x as the value two and now this is override the value of one now we have two in x so we have two in x so that's why we are getting the value false because this condition become the false let me show you by giving the value two to the x now it is true because we have value stored two in x because this override the value this i hope you can understand these things in the programming how variables are overriding <clears throat> Okay, so second exercise I am doing here by clearing the screen. I am giving the x greater than equal to zero. So yes, x is greater than equal to zero. 
obviously it is greater than or equal to zero because it store the value two. And y, we are I am comparing y with the string two value. So inside y we have not a true because inside y we have not any uh, string, but we are comparing with the string. So it is false. It is false, but it is true. First is true, and in you know in case of or operator, if one part is true, you will get the true. Okay, so that's why we are getting the result true. Okay, next exercise I can show you. Uh, I can show you next exercise, not equal to x. So x. not equal to equal equal operator okay so let's say not closing that bracket and uh, here you can see end operator okay and uh, here i am comparing the y with the value one plus one not this one plus one okay so here you can see x is two so I, i'm comparing x is not equal to one okay so it is returning what x is not equal to one so it is true not equal to one and opposite of true is false because of not operator so this part is false okay and in end operator when one part one part is false it means all the whole means whole statement is false that's why we are getting false value here one plus one is true but two is equal to two yes two is equal to two this part is true but this part is false so that's why we are getting the false value <coughs> So we also uh, can check the this second exercise. So let me say y not equal to equal to string two. Okay, and x. Let me check. X is less than ten. Yes, X is less than ten. So this part, you can see, two is not equal to two string. So it is true because two is not equal to string two. And this part is also true. Then true and when both part true होते हैं तो end operator हमें true return करके देगा. इसको भी check कर लेते हैं. Y not equal to x. So obviously, y is not equal to x, but y is equal to x because in x also we have two, and y also we have two. So y, y or x are equal actually. So we are we are giving not equal, so that's why it's false. Let's say I am giving or operator now. I am comparing the two. So this is what y not equal to x. This false, and this is true actually. So this is also not true. So it is false, and it is also false. Y is not equal to x. Comparison. We we are comparing y is not equal to x. So, so x have a value two, but y y have value two, and it is saying not equal to. So what it is? It is false or uh, true. So let me check. Two and two not equal to not equal to. It is false. I think it is also false. But let me check. X is equal to equal to 
3 it is also false so why we are why this is returning true i think one part is true here that's why it is returning true let's say i am changing the variable okay let's say <coughs> where x i am giving the value 1 again okay now now let's say i am checking the y not equal to equal to equal to x okay now it is true and let's say or operator the same we are checking if we so it is true now but this is true this is true this this is true this is false this is false and, and, and inside this or operator any one become true then we got the true so this is all about the operator actually in javascript and next i will talk about the flow control so after that lecture actually we will move toward the uh, a complete programming things like loop lo logics we, we will build the logics actually on the basis of that if else condition or for loop while loop to while loop these things that thing will be applicable in all the programming language okay so let me stop the recording <coughs>